What's up guys? How you guys doing? Welcome to my very first vlog, the Empire Motor Club. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm an actor and I love cars. But for those of you who do know who I am, don't worry, I'm not trying to market or promote my projects. This is simply about my passion for cars, my lifestyle, my hobbies, and the Empire Motor Club. Just to give you guys a little background info, I was born in New York. I grew up in New York, New Jersey. I moved back to Taipei when I was a kid. And then I went back to school and finished college in New York at NYU. And then shortly after, I moved back to Taiwan, started working in Taiwan, China, Hong Kong. And then after a little while, I became an actor. After I became an actor, I got quite lucky, worked hard. I've had the financial abilities and the capabilities of trying to pursue all of the dream cars that I used to want. I've had a passion for cars, for car tuning, modifications, just messing around with cars. Anything to do with cars, I loved. I've always had a dream of having my own brand. I've always had a dream of having my own like club. Me, my wife Dizzy, and my best friend Ryan, we started the Empire Motor Club because this was a lifestyle. This was just, you know, for all these car people, car lovers, to have a chance to get together at car meets, events, social gatherings. Enough about Empire Motor Club. Today, we are the northeast coast of Taiwan. This is a section of Taiwan where you can see the beautiful coastline. I love driving around here. Dizzy and I, we go on drives a lot. Today we don't have Dizzy, don't worry, she will be on my vlog. Ryan's gonna be on the vlog as well. But I just wanted to take you guys out for a little cruise. Beautiful day, beautiful scenery. I brought the Project 993 Turbo S Look out. This car means a lot to me. It's a really, really special car to me. I don't wanna tell you how old I am, but I grew up in the 80s and the 90s, so you guys can figure that out yourselves. I guess it's a little bit of nostalgia, but when I was growing up, I've always loved the Porsche 964, the 993. I've always dreamed of owning one. We were really lucky to find this car. I'm gonna take you guys around here. This is one of my favorite scenic spots, so we can go into detail about this car. We'll be right back. Alright, so this is one of my favorite spots to go to when I'm out for a drive on the northeast coast. As you can see, it's beautiful. So what we're going to do now, I think, is just, uh, I don't want to bore you guys to death or anything, but I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about this project. This project has been going on for like two and a half, three years, ever since we got the car. I mean, it was good condition, but it wasn't perfect condition. It's a 20-something year old car. It's never going to be that great. So the oil started to leak and there's all these creaks and noises, the suspension, you know, the shock started to like leak, you know, the interior just needed some, I guess, revamping. I guess after like a year, I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to take the car completely apart. And this was something that I've never done with any other car. This car is so special to me just because we took every single little piece apart. We took the engine out, we rebuilt it. We even took the Tiptronic out. I know, you guys are gonna be like, what, it's a Tiptronic? Yeah, I'm sorry, it's not a manual. Check it out. So yeah, here's my Tiptronic. I don't know if you guys can see, but I am very proud of it. I'm just kidding, I'm not that proud of it. I know that a six speed would be way more visceral, way more raw, the purest. I know what you guys are gonna say, you can comment below, I'm sorry, all right? But it is what it is. This Kambala steering wheel is really cool because it's got these buttons, kind of like Formula One buttons that we do, just, just for the horn. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I did get 996 turbo seats. I wanted something with more support, something more comfortable. You know, we put some suede in these seats. We didn't do too much. We just put, you know, some orange seat belts on. As you can see, we have a roll cage. I wanted to do the roll cage because I think it just makes it look a little more sporty. I'm gonna start the car again. 
I didn't rework the dash. I didn't really see a point. It was still good condition. What I did get was this classic Porsche navigation radio system. I think this kind of completes the look of the car. It's modern yet classic and it ties in well with this, you know, whole like theme of classic Porsche-ness, if that is even a word. I just put some Alcantara for the for the shifter, you know, for the brake lever, new seats, didn't really do too much. Obviously, you know, we got a new mirror. Um, oh yeah, so well, let me show you guys. You know, we got a fire extinguisher, we got some more GoPro gear, and uh, my trusty bat. Don't fuck with me. No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, it's for my cats. They play baseball. I'll take you guys around the front. So when we decided to take this car completely apart, Dizzy and I were searching for, you know, the color that we wanted. We really wanted something retro, something vintage, something Porsche classic. So we were searching like, you know, whatever colors the 356 had, and we came across something that we really loved called the aquamarine blue. Aquamarine blue is actually a really, really special color. Getting the mix right was not easy. Then to Eli, they got the job done. After all the coatings were done, I finally got to see it. Under the sunlight, it's a little bit of green. When it's cloudy, it's kind of blue. All I can say is that it's the perfect retro color. This, this rear inlet hole is just fucking dope. Uh, for the Turbo S look, I feel like this rear inlet hole is really what it's about. You gotta have it and listen to it. It's, it's steel, right? So this is OEM. This is not plastic. This is not an aftermarket part. This is OEM. This will take us back to the Turbo S Wing. So this Turbo S Wing is really cool too because as you can see, this is another functional air vent right here. And we got the rear vents here. And what's special about this wing is that there's a space in between this and the top part. So it's a two-piece wing, but this is only on the Turbo S. We really took the part apart. I mean, we even got new rubber seals on everything, you know, around the doors. They become hard over a period of time and it becomes less effective. So I decided to take everything out and get all new rubber seals. Every single rubber seal that we needed to change, we changed. This car is just so classic. We wanted a classic wheel. We decided to go with the 501 Vintage HRE wheels. We got deep dish lips and then just the mesh spokes. This looks really awesome. Decided to go with like a matte silver finish and then polished lips. We got the Alcon brake. I linked up with Alcon brakes in Taiwan. They hooked me up with six pot calipers in the front, four pot calipers in the rear, lightweight rotors, and we decided to paint the calipers orange to match everything on the car. So let's go around the front. The front of the car is really special. It's really classic looking. Obviously the frog headlights. The 993 is a little bit more slanted. The 964 is a little bit more upright, but I think the flow of the lines looks really natural, really beautiful. And if you can see here, it's the Turbo S fog light, the intake hole here, and then we have the Turbo S front lip. This bumper also came on the Carrera S as well as the Carrera 4S. All right, I'll show you around the front of the car. Just want to show you what's under the hood. And no, it's not the engine. I have an X-Brace. I just decided to put an X-Brace in. I'm not going to take this car to the track, but I like a more rigid suspension. I like harder settings. And I think this ties in everything together. It makes the car stronger, more rigid. Let's go check out the engine. Ta-da! So, this is a 3.6 liter Carrera S engine. It's got the Vario Ram engine in it, so it's a little different than the 1994 and the 1995 version. So what's different right here, as you can see, is that we have Porsche 993 Carrera RS carbon fiber heater duct bypass pipe. Wow, that is a long name. Okay, so this is carbon fiber, it looks really cool. And then the fan shroud, we actually painted orange. If you can see, we have the intake cover right here. So if you can come check it out, the intake cover with k and air filters. So we opened that up with the fab speed as well. Obviously, we rebuilt the engine. We took everything apart, piece by piece. Whatever it is that we could still use, we kept and we just cleaned it up. And all the rest, we just threw out, got new parts. I mean, we literally cleaned up intake manifold, pistons, the cylinder, got new camshafts, uh, rocker arms, you know, rocker shafts, distributor caps, and all also ignition cables. Everything that you can think of, we did. And 
Now it just runs so smooth. I've actually had the fab speeds on the car even before the rebuild, so they don't look brand new, but I got the sport headers and the sport cat X pipes and their tips for better flow and better sound. There's a couple things that you can't see. We don't have a car lift. I redid the whole suspension. One of the most important components to your suspension are coilovers. I swore by KW, so I linked up with KW. They hooked me up with the V3, Classic 993, three-way adjustable. You cannot beat these. For such an old car to be able to have such a modern coilover suspension that's three-way adjustable, you can do anything you want. Mountain roads, cruising, city driving, whatever it is, it can handle. Even though it's just a Carrera S, it's like a mix of a 993 RS, a mix of the Turbo S. It's a little bit of everything. It's just my car, you know, and that's what I love about it. It's my project, my build, something that I love, and I feel like that's what modifying cars should be about. All right, boys and girls, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys like the vlog. I will continue to do vlogs, so comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see, all right? Just subscribe to EMC Empire Motor Club. And before I leave, I'm gonna drop you guys a coupon code. Very simple, Empire Motor Club. Here it is, here's the link below. Comment, share with all your friends, and go get your EMC merchandise. Peace, we're gonna go back to Taipei. See you guys soon. What's up guys, I'm back. I'm sorry, I'm back. I just want to add one thing to me. The thing for me is actually the most important thing to me. For all of you who are watching my vlog, don't listen to the outside sound. When you're in the car, you'll ask, hey, do you think this is good? Is this paint will be better? How is the sound of the sound? I think it's the same as the sound. I'm happy with myself. You're happy with yourself. Every day, when you see your car, if you have a smile on your face, if you have a smile, 然后你开车的时候 ，feel the tingles and you just feel fucking good. That's what it is for me. 改车 is to be creative, to be unique, 有独特性。你们改车也是一样，代表你们自己。每一个人都不一样。So I support every single one of you. All right. 改车 is a lifestyle. Welcome to the Empire Motor Club.